What's going on guys, Haxa here with another episode of Skull the Hero Slayer and we're back to business as usual after the tier list video. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, there will be more to come. Uh, someone actually made an item tier list like literally last night. I think I was talking about in the um, the Skull tier list video how hard it would be to actually make an item tier list because you have to gather all the images and like, you know, do all that. Which I actually didn't mention this in the uh, Skull tier list video, but I actually uh, am the one that created the tier list that I used. Uh, it's not important, but you know, <laughs> I did do that. I did do that. But um, yeah, not important at all. I just felt like I didn't feel like saying it in the actual video, but yeah. Um, and yeah, someone actually made uh, an item tier list last night, so I have that available to me now, and. Uh, I, I do plan on doing that eventually. I just need to more solidify my uh, my opinions on the skulls and like I mean the uh, items and uh, where they're at and how I feel about them. We will get there eventually. Uh, there's just a lot of stuff I haven't played with yet, so got to figure that out. But it's certainly on the agenda. Maybe I'll make it another subscriber milestone. We'll see. Uh, do, though eventually it will happen regardless so even if like the subscriber growth slows down significantly and I it takes me a while to get to the next uh, big milestone I'll still do it even if it you know I, if it takes too long I'll do it regardless just because I know people want to see that stuff and uh, I enjoy doing it I, I that was shockingly a really fun video to, to make I didn't expect it to be as fun as it was uh, but let's let's talk about the actual run we're on here right now uh, I don't really have a concrete plan. Uh, there's uh, some run requests that have been made. Uh, someone requested a, a Grim Reaper run, but obviously if I find the Grim Reaper, I'm definitely gonna be playing the Grim Reaper regardless. So it, it is a run request, but it's like, you know, a really, really uh, obvious one. Like I'm, def ooh, Rockstar. It's not been, we'll take the Rockstar, I guess. Just cause, but I don't know how long we'll be holding on to him. But we, we played him pretty recently, so I don't I feel like maybe people would want to see something else. And also, uh, it's worth picking up the Rockstar just so you can have the uh, this the music Easter egg that happens if, when you have him with you. Uh, that's always fun. I'm actually definitely taking that. We also did I uh, use the uh, the water skull recently, so I think I'm gonna leave it on the on the ground for now. I think we've not used Thief as like in as much time, in less time. Uh, so we're like further removed from the Thief than we are from uh, the uh, the Water Skull. Also the Rockstar Skull as well. I think I'll take the standard issue Kalyan armor just for the money. I've actually kind of grown to respect this item a lot more than I did at first. I think I even trash talked it on my channel, but I take it all back. Uh, this item is good. It's like one of the better fortress items. It has flat damage reduction on it. Fortress is a good inscription. Uh, and it, uh, it works with Carleon insignia as well. So there's like a lot of good to say about that. Also, listen to this song. Yeah, I have pointed it out before. If you're a, a, a regular player of this game, you're probably already aware of it. But if you're maybe new to the game and you didn't know, uh, the Rockstar has an Easter egg where like it has a dynamic, uh, it has dynamic music one of the only actually i think the only instance of dynamic music in this game where if you bring it into an adventure fight it changes the song and adds a extra layer of music to it oh we also just recently used this <laughs> you know maybe i can actually try and build towards a decent champ build maybe hmm I did just write him at the bottom of the barrel with Yaksha, and I do stand by that. What could I do with this? You know what, we'll take it. We'll take it. I don't know how long I'll keep it, but we'll take it for now. Um, I still, I stand by everything I said about this skull, but maybe we can do something interesting with this. So let's see how much these this cost in terms of energy. So these used to cost like five and 10 energy, and none of these are combo. 30. 20. The 21 is okay. 30 is unacceptable. Completely unacceptable. God, dude, why? Why? Okay, you don't, no, no, no. This could quickly descend into another I complained about champion the whole time run. Let's not. Let's actually try and make this work. Uh, here's already an opportunity for me to switch to combo, though I don't have a lot of money to work with. Um, 
Maybe I should try and switch to combo. But also at the same time. Oh, I don't. Okay, I'll, I'll try it. I'll try it. Because that is what Earl suggested I do. Um, uh, he showed me a video where he was playing with Champion and he was fighting Joan and it was doing a lot of damage. Uh, I think you just need to build towards your towards damage percent and then play with combo like that and it does stuff that's good. Oh shit, this is not in this is not a money room. I have way more gargoyle runs on the channel than I do uh, Rockstar, but I do have ideas to make uh, gargoyle interesting, but they don't synergize with champion here. I'll still take it though. I'm just, what can I say? I, I enjoy this skull. <laughs> I do use it a lot though. I do acknowledge that. I do have run ideas for it though that I would like to maybe show off. Okay, okay, there's combo. Combo and dirty smash. What is that? Deals physical damage. How much does this cost? 40? Oh my god. Oh, it's so bad. Okay, no, no, no. <laughs> I can't help myself. What can I say? Uh, I'm a habitual complainer. We'll, we'll not do it, though. I'm going to be very aware of... Uh... Okay, so one thing we definitely 1 million percent need on this run, if we're going to make champion work, is attack speed. This is unacceptable attack speed right now. Which, thankfully, I want for my gargoyle as well. So that is uh, a direction to build towards. So we'll try and get some rapidity going here. Oh, man. But po Okay, no, no. Not poison. We got to stay focused. None of this is rapidity. And that's not repeated either, but this is a part of the puzzle for my idea for Gargoyle, but I don't know, like, I've already done bleed air builds on this channel. I'll just take the damage percent, because I, I need to decide right now what I'm going to do, uh, and I think I'm going to decide on making champion work. I think that I think I owe champion that at least after what I did to him yesterday. I did my man dirty. Well, I, I did my man how I see as fair. Like I, I stand by everything I said. But we're gonna try and make it work. Uh, but I will say the uh, and this will probably be the last time. <laughs> actually, I, I shouldn't say this. I I probably will complain again. But the um, the issue is I, I I feel like I could have any other skull right now and it would be just as good as this champion. Okay, that's it. That's all I'm gonna say. And uh, there is a little trick here you can do with uh, Gargoyle, or at least you used to be able to do it. I don't know if it still works. Um, Gargoyle kind of floats off the ground, and it takes it a while to... St whenever you stop moving, he floats forward a little bit. You can actually uh, float out of the way of the damage hitboxes of some of these chests. So let's try and do that. You can also float so far that you can't open the chest. So... Okay, well, that's just heal. So that's good. Okay, that's one of the instances of flowing too far away. This could work. Okay, uh, maybe they patched it. Okay, well now he's just now he's just being rude. Gargoyle, enough. Okay, money. We'll take the money. You gotta be very careful with the. Okay, we didn't move out of the way of that. So this is a pretty safe chest room right now. Okay, I'm still gonna open some chests. Uh, when you get it this early, it's actually still worth it to keep going. Okay, we might dodge this. In fact, we will dodge this. This is an instance of dodge. Okay, <laughs> never mind, I lied. <laughs> Maybe they patched it out. It's it's entirely possible. It was pretty cheesy. Okay, one more for the road. It is very early in the game, so I'm not worried about dying. Well, that's useless to me. That's absolutely useless to me. I have no need for dark courts. We're, pe we're way beyond the point of needing dark courts if you... Uh, Never noticed uh, down here. <laughs> That's what a thousand hours of playtime will do for you. We'll open one more and then I think we'll head on out. I do want some money, but psh, the game's not being too kind to me. And we have that heal down there, so even if we take some damage, uh, we'll be okay. Okay, well, now I'm going to open more. <laughs> just keep giving me heal. If you, if you want me to gamble so so much, why didn't you just say so, you know? Yeah. I'll do it. I'll play your games. Uh, let me in, please. Thank you. Okay, that helps. But I do, I would prefer some money. Uh, okay, we got a recruit here. Goddamn recruits. Sometimes they'll just miss you, even if there is no, like, rhyme or reason to it. It's so strange. Uh, the AI of the recruits coming out of the boxes are so janky sometimes. Okay, there's some money. Not a lot of money, but it is money. And bone shards. So, okay, so most of the time, I'm sure people, uh, they, uh, 
they am scray once they get the key. And sometimes that's not always worth it because as you're seeing here, it can be very worth your while to keep opening boxes, even if you already got your key, because there's good stuff in some of these. Like there's more loot to be found than just the key. Uh, though this is certainly not worth it. <laughs> just a hundred gold pieces. Psh. I can get just about a hundred gold pieces per room transition. So <laughs> not the best, but also, you know, I'll take it. Okay, the the freeze AI is omega janky. I feel like I dodged that a lot. Okay, lots of just 100 gold pieces. I mean, it adds up uh, over time, I suppose. We've gotten 300 from this. We've been in this room a long time. I need to... Okay, you know what? Fuck it. The gargoyle is not dodging regardless. Let's just fucking stop with the, with the nonsense and get our champion out here who won't have stupid AI fuck-up quirks. This could work. No. Oh, okay, well, one last blast to the face for the road. That's every chest, though. Foolish and large chest, blah, 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 blah. Give me the loot now. What do you got for me? What did we get? What did we get? Oh, yes. Yes, sir. The ring is back, baby. The memes are back. Uh, it's been a while since we brought it and had it along for a video, so it's not the ring in every video anymore. But hey, he's you know the ring is back, and we're very happy to see it, especially on a run like this where I'm. Uh, I don't know how long I'm going to stick on this build path. I think I'm actually going to hold off on upgrading my gargoyle in the first uh, spider here, just to see if I can get something a little more uh, interesting. Like, what if I find the warlock, or I find uh, the living armor, and we can finally get that run on the uh, on the books. Okay, so we do have combo here. I'm going to save it for... I I'll use this. We definitely need rapidity, though. We need it so bad. Okay, we'll we'll use a combo here. Our damage is pretty good for this point in the game. We have to wait for him to stop attacking, and then we'll do it here. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. But obviously, it's Yggdrasil, so it's not... You know, beating up Yggdrasil is like... You're ba basically punching a punching bag. So... We'll see how uh, this champion run unfolds. Okay, we'll definitely take the Hydra, but I'm not happy about it. This is the Poison Quintessence. Or maybe eight. Is there more than one Poison Quintessence? I can't remember. This is one of them, if there is more than one. Uh, but sadly, this is not the Poison Run, even though I do need to get the Poison Run going on this channel. This is, if anything, it's just going to be pure DPS. That's the goal. Just to try and make... Uh, Give, give some justice to a skull that I did a little dirty. Only a little bit, though. Uh, to the champion heads out there, the big champion fans, you know, champions, you're, you're, you love them to death. Uh, don't be too upset with me. Uh, I stand by what I said, but, you know, we're, we're giving him a chance here, you know? And we even used him, like, what, like two or three videos ago? So... You know, I don't usually do that, so I'm, I'm kind of giving Champion some extra wiggle room here. That I, It's a privilege that I don't offer every other skull, so I'm trying to do right by him. I'm trying to do right by the Champion heads, you know, the big Champion fan club out there. And you know, we'll see what happens. I have seen him pop off. Like I said, I, Earl showed me a video where he was uh, doing a lot of damage with combo. So, yeah. Uh, one thing I'm absolutely going to be looking for is like um, thieves armor that's gonna be very very important uh, I just need a way to deal with crowds the further we get into the game the more you'll be feeling uh, champions lack of crowd control uh, you definitely need to make up for it somehow items are a good way to do it even if we don't have high crit percent uh, having thieves armor will do wonders for this run I wish they would just give him one low cooldown skill. That's it. That's all I ask. Just one, you know? We can't take that, unfortunately. God, we're being offered so much poison, dude. It's kind of whack. I've already, like, passed it up so many times, I don't think it's worth taking. We're doing physical percent here. There we go. That's some physical percent. This is also some physical percent. So now we have some courage going. Well, do we have... Yeah, we do have courage going. Uh, so... I don't know how to feel about the wheel here. I don't know how long I'm going to hold on to it, but for now, we can make some use of it. Uh, but the problem with wheel is uh, this skull cannot really sp uh, skill spam anymore, so we're not really uh, 
like super good at uh, utilizing it, but it does have uh, raw stats on it. And we can always just kind of work on it with our gargoyle. Though hopefully I get offered a new skull here. Is this worth it? Probably over mm, this. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll take it over that. So I'm I'm going physical here for the most part. Supporting gargoyle with uh with the ring, though. God, please give me something else. I really, honestly, don't want the gargoyle for this run. Combo. Actually, did quite a bit there. I'll give it that. We're starting to gain some damage here, as you can see. Uh, it's still not enough, though, to make the the champion's lack of ways to ability to deal with crowds uh, not a glaring issue. Holy shit! Wow, he's being offered again. Do I? Nah. Hopefully, I get offered something cool here on this pedestal. Actually, we can summon the hydras here. All of them at once, which is actually a really fun way to use this uh, quintessence if you've never done it. Uh, this is how I used to use it before 1.4 dropped, uh, and it became the poison quint. It's okay when you use it like that, but it's still not great. All right, what do we got? Hmm. Well, this is uh, attack speed, so I'll definitely take it. So a piece of the puzzle for what we're trying to do here. Getting a little bit better here with our champion. I'm still going to hold off on upgrading the uh, Gargoyle. I'm really looking for something else here. But if 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 we're set down the Gargoyle path, I'm not upset about that. It's just not what I really want to see. You know, if Rockstar shows up one more time, I'll be obligated to take him, I think. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Let's summon some Hydras. The Hydra is actually a little a little better than I think I give it credit. Um, it's not one of my... Uh, actually, hang on one second. We're going to run. I thought maybe I had Discord open because I was seeing a little bit of a... A little bit of lag, but it's fine. We're good. Uh, I don't know what the lag was coming from, though. That's not good. Okay. Is that what I... No, 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 no. I'm a big shield fan now, obviously, but uh, I don't think this is the run for it. it. That would, God, that would slow the run down so significantly. I, I really don't want that. I want a good, fast-paced, action-packed run here. We're already on that route a little bit here. Hmm. I'm. I'm trying to think of items I would take. Definitely bone of swiftness. Uh, Anything with rapidity on it or attack speed, although I did not take the in-air attacks. Because if you haven't seen Champion's in-air attack, this is it. Very non-spammy. Good for cheesing platforms, as I said in my previous Champion video. You can like... Okay, actually, I'll demonstrate it right here. This is one of the, the, the points I gave the Champion in my last video. You can do this. And I'm not being, like, cheeky here. This is actually fairly useful. Uh, like, I, I do make use of it fairly regularly. Okay, I'll definitely take this. I'll take it over this. Oh, Suanisio. I don't think so. I don't think Suanisio is the run for this. Oh, shit. Treasure 4? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> um, Yeah. We need... Okay, actually. Is this what I want, though? In terms of my rapidity? I need damage. I feel like this happens to me all the time. I get sidetracked. I need to focus on getting damage. Like this. Which I will get rid of. Mm. What is my current arms? Are I'm at, I'm already at arms too. Actually, fuck it. Let's take the invisible knife. Which means I will probably ditch the. This no. This is okay. Oof. I, I just got treasure for it. I need to play with it a little bit before I get rid of it. What do I do? This is already... This sucks. Okay, fuck it. We'll just... We'll, we'll take our items here and run with them. Invisible knife. If it shows up again, it shows up again. It wouldn't even be that good. It would be good, but it wouldn't be that good. Okay, as you can see here, we're already starting to get some uh, attack speed here. Already starting to get a little bit stronger. 
So, get it on champion. Uh, he's doing some things. And uh, I'm feeling good about him. Though I, I'm, I, like, none of this is going to change my mind about champion. I'm just giving it the fair shot. I think I, I owe it after what happened in my, uh, my tier list video. Because I, I, I was mean to him. But, like, still, like, I, 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 my opinion is pretty set on champion. Like, as good as this is, if I was, like, anything else, I would still be doing just as good. And we're not taking that. I actually really want some bone shards here. That would be probably my top priority in terms of, uh, treasure items. Okay, well, shit, we're not... <laughs> I think the game's forcing me down the gargoyle path. I'll hold off one more time for the uh, for the upgrading gargoyle, but it's looking like that's where I'm being sent here. But I do like gargoyle, so I'm not upset about it. I just feel bad because I use it all the time. And also, I can't build the the run I want to with gargoyle on this build because it would for it would it would make champion awkward, and this is all about champion. Let's just hold off on using skills too heavily here. I want to be able to uh, to combo one of the Leona sisters to death. I could do it here. And okay, we're actually do we're doing quite well here with our combos. There we go. God, dude, that was actually pretty good. I'll give Champion that, though I knew that when I rated it lowly. Um, that it does have the the uh, the powerhouse build with um, with combo. It's just not enough to make it a good skull, in my opinion. Okay, let's. Uh, and we are. It is also only the Liana sisters. We'll have to continue to to monitor how Champion does as I continue uh, through the game. The Liana sisters are nothing. Like before Act Three, skull performance is not really all that important and we still don't have a way to deal with crowds and that is so 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 important i will actually take this i'm not i'm a big battle totem fan uh the damage reduction is good i always get it mixed up with uh um fuck what's it called i i don't okay this is called ogre i always call them by their abilities sometimes like this one i all i call battle totem even though it's ogre I don't know why. It's a, a weird mistake I make a lot. Like the, like I was going to say, uh, I think I might have already said it, but I always call that one uh, it, in, uh, Quintessence Old Totem, even though that's its ability, not its uh, Quintessence name. Okay, okay, this could be good. That is not good. <laughs> uh, well, okay, obviously Prisoner is good, but it's a solo skull. Uh, I need a skull that's going to be a good partner skull for my champion, not one that... Com like would rather be working on its own yeah, let's get be a little careful there so our our magic damage is already starting to fall off here i'm really 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 hoping i can swap off of this uh this gargoyle secondary skull we have a lot of money for this shop even though i got really really uh low rolled here with the doors which is unfortunate hopefully i can find some Actually, this is a good partner skull. We'll take the ninja. The ninja is a good sk uh, skill spam skill, so it can make up for the the awkwardness of this offensive wheel. So this is masterpiece. I could go into masterpiece here. Okay, yeah, we'll swap off the treasure now. We already have enough skull shards, so. This is raw damage and it's mutant, but I don't plan on swapping that much here. And also, what would I get rid of? Probably this. I should look for Masterpiece. Well, this is what I wanted to do with my Gargoyle. I wanted to do a Jenny's Chain Sickle Gargoyle build, but we're, we're not doing that, so. And nothing. Oh, no, actually, this is Masterpiece. Fuck yeah, let's go. Uh, I can afford that, right? Yes. So, yeah, now we're on a pretty good raw damage build here. Uh, once we activate the Masterpiece... Uh, which, what is it again? Yeah, dealing physical damage to an enemy increases your physical attack by 70% for 10 seconds, which is pretty good. Though we are on a bit of a inefficient like uh, item selection here. 
like i don't want this i don't think the fighter's belt is very good even though i, I don't remember what its masterpiece variant is also i'm not super set on uh hunter's boots though i guess it could be crowd this could be our way to deal with crowds if we go all the way in masterpiece we could uh we could use it to help us in that regard because when you're at masterpiece it shoots multiple projectiles sir thank you and that's not useful we don't need uh skull rooms anymore i almost went in there so thankfully i remembered that that's not what we're doing now i'm trying to i think i could actually if i wanted to even though i don't want to because it's giving me other stats besides uh, just damage i could swap off of the ring now because we're not really doing magic things anymore but i'll i'll hold on to it god look how much weaker our uh our ninja here is than our freaking uh champion ninja does so little damage it's ridiculous there we go getting all the money baby oh shit oh no i want that i want that i want that right now but the thing is what do i get rid of i i there's really nothing i can get rid of This is like the odd item out, but it's helping my attack speed and my crit rate. Could get rid of the ring, but fuck no. <laughs> yeah, I, I do want that, but I just don't see a way to make it work. The items are too tight right now. And we're going to drop Ogre here. Build up our... Ooh. Okay, we're going to combo the Cleric. Get rid of her. Yeah, this is going well. Good adventure. Okay, it's not over yet, but it's pretty much over. Good adventures. I'll, I'll go ahead and say it. GG's. I'll do a teabag Fortnite dance on their corpses and be on my way. Wait, can I, can I knock these around? Nah. Only really, like, the monkey can do it. It's unfortunate. This is useless on this because uh, the champion doesn't have skill cooldown. So we'll just upgrade our ninja and be on our merry little ways. And now we have a, a legendary ninja. You can do a lot of really cool stuff with legendary ninja, like movement wise. Like he has vertical movement, like crazy. Especially when you get an act four, you can break some of the uh, level designs, which I'll try and show off. It's really cool and interesting when you do it. But I, I stand by everything I said about ninja too. The only thing that was saving it from being down there with uh with Champion and Yaksha and Harpy was the fact that you can do this with it, which is pretty good. Uh, certainly uh, not bad. And you can like, like pretty much every time you have max skill cooldown on it, you can always activate the wheel, no matter what you do. So it's good, just uh, not great. Like it's, it's a one trick pony and the trick is like, good but not great let's do it again here though i'll probably stay out as ninja so i can uh oh you're not summoning that guy okay it's not happening you thought maybe you had a chance there but sorry it's just yeah you're it's not happening dog i i don't want to summon the wheel in this map so i think uh i'll just go ahead and transform here or uh, switch back i mean we're going to leave the uh, the halfling in there because we don't need it right now. Oh, okay, this is actually perfect. Uh, I can actually swap off of this, maybe. No. What can I swap off? Actually, I should be refreshing for Masterpiece. Okay, this is Masterpiece. But it's not good Masterpiece. Like... I don't just want Masterpiece for Masterpiece's sake. This is... Ma okay. Okay. <laughs> I kind of wish I had taken the... Uh, the poison route now. But we're fine. I don't think that's worth it. The more I think about it. Hmm. This is Courage. But we're not concentrating. Though it is raw stat increase. What would I get rid of? The wheel? The wheel's the odd one out. 
It, I only lose 10% and I gain one step towards courage. For two inscriptions I'm not using at all. So yeah, I think we say goodbye to the wheel here, which kind of makes the ninja worse. But we're fine, we're fine, we're completely fine. Oh yeah, uh, I don't take orc, okay? Uh, or at least I don't usually. Maybe I should have considered it a little more, actually. Fuck. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I think my, my anti-bias towards orc kind of fucked me there. Uh, orc would be perfect on this build. Even though I am worried about dying with it, especially with, um, with, oh shit, with, uh, with Champion, who I'm not a big fan of defensively. I think it's one of the, uh, once we get to Act 4, you'll start really see feeling the pain of, uh, of not having, uh, crowd control. That's gonna really, really fuck with us in Act 4, like, in a, in a really, really major way. We're gonna struggle this run, I, I already know it. <laughs> So, Orc would certainly contribute to the struggle. We, we still need, like, Thieves' Armor. That's not Thieves' Armor. It is damage amplification, but we're pretty close range attackers here, so... We'll just leave it. It would make the, the Hunter's Boots stronger, but... We're gonna go into the Pit of Shame, or one of the Pits of Shame. There's multiple Pits of Shame in this act, but we're gonna go in this one. Just for the money. I want all the money I can get. And it's going well regardless, so. I really actually missed the wheel. I feel like maybe that was a mistake to swap off of it, but I don't know. I mean, uh, the raw stats from that is pretty good. It's one step towards Courage 4. And that's not good, so. All right, it's Chimera time. Hopefully our stats haven't fallen off too hard so far like i'm this always happens to me where i get distracted like i got distracted by masterpiece and it kind of sent me in a direction where like i'm uh building kind of suboptimally like with uh, the the fighter's belt even though i do get the 70 percent uh, stat increase also oh, god dude that's so whack that that can even happen let's Try and uh, combo the Chimera here. Okay. We're not doing nearly as much as we were against bosses before, but we're still doing quite a bit to them. I should still swap occasionally and like try and uh, use my partner skull a little bit. We should kill that Chimera here, I think. No, I, I was hoping I would have her dead before she finished her attack, but we're fine. That went well all things considered though we're about to enter hell here oh shit okay that actually helps a fuckload that helps so much hmm it is tough to slot it in though but we're definitely doing it i think i still need to keep this both of my skulls are um are speed skulls so the attack speed by 25 percent is very good and we're about to get even more attack speed Maybe I should just give up on Courage 4. Or give up on Masterpiece. And Though this would... I just don't have enough slots. I could get rid of this, but that's attack speed. Attack speed is very important. This I would get rid of this if it, if it uh, weren't going to get rid of my rapidity. I'll just get rid of the champ. I'm not a big fan of this item. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> uh, yeah, get rid of this. I was trying to just... Why, why was I even trying? That's like a weird habit I have where like I destroy items I don't need to. Because I've in the past left items behind on accident that uh, like that I uh, wanted to destroy in the moment. And I, I've I turned it into a habit of always destroying items, but... Uh, it's it, it can be a bad habit too. I need to uh, work on that. God, this damage is so whack. It's so bad. Okay, so the the uh, bone of swiftness. If you've not used it because you're used to old bonus with this being kind of niche and bad, it's very good now. Uh, basic attack focused, which we are a basic attack skull whenever we're not using our skills, which is very often. So it certainly helps to have this bonus with this. It's one of the items I really, really wanted for this run. The other one being uh, Thieves' Armor, which we have been unfortunate and not seen, even though I see it all the time otherwise. 
Uh, this would have been good if we went the bleed route. I really want to use that in a video, but it's so hard to find on like an the status uh, inscription. Oh God, why does this not deal with crowd? Like that that one feels like it should be a crowd control skill. I don't know why it's not. Like it just has nothing. But uh, we're so far so good. I thought we would be uh, struggling already, but we're doing fine. Uh, things are f okay. Actually, is Bone of Swiftness good on Ninja? Look at all the procs we're doing. Is this like old Jagamon Thorn, basically? Which I, that's an item I miss a lot, actually. I wish the devs hadn't been so uh, so destructive towards true damage. Like, it's pretty. Is it even in the game anymore? I don't think it is. If it is, it's barely in the game. This is raw stats. Mm, we're not really using our crits. This is raw stats, but it's way too late to get a uh, Fulgent Dawn. We're not going to get it. Mm-hmm. And one more. Okay, well, that's unfortunate, but it's fine. I'm going to go ahead and take the Dragon. Flame Dragon, one of the best Quints in the game. Uh, and I stand by that. I'll do a Quint tier list, too. Maybe I'll do it. Maybe I'll do a Quint and Item tier list together, because Quints are pretty... I don't know. I don't think people are that interested enough in quints to, for it to get its own video, but like pairing them into the item tier list could be a good idea. But yeah, this is like a. For some reason, I saw people saying this quint is bad, and I honestly don't understand why. I think people have really negative and like uh, unfortunate opinions on quint, on like the role of quintessences in Skull the Hero Slayer. Like people will be like, Orc is good. It's one of the only good quints in the game. In Troll, it's like. You know, Wisp, these stat modifying quintessences, which are good quints, but quints are basically third abilities. That's how you should view them. Uh, quintessences like Flame Dragon are phenomenal. Just think of it as an Omega powerful uh, third ability that you get to use from time to time. God, look at this is like my really why I don't like a uh, champion coming into fruition here. Which uh, I said, I'm, and I've been pretty positive towards uh, Champion this video so far, but I do still have to be honest. This is why Champion is what it is, because there's so much downtime in between charging up these skills that whenever you're not using your, your abilities, you're just like a normal basic attacking, and quite frankly, not even a good basic attacking uh, speed skull that does nothing. And there's so much downtime because the skills cost so much now. Whereas in the past, you could spam your abilities pretty frequently and with good success. And that's not worth this run. This is like, what is this one again? Yeah, amplifies damage from behind, which is a good, uh, decent effect, I should say. It's really hard in Skull the Hero Slayer to attack enemies from behind, though. It's it's really inconsistent, which I guess is the point. It's not meant to be consistent. It's kind of meant to be a bit of a risk-reward type deal, but I think it's just not consistent enough to take regularly um okay let's see if i can combo this guy no oh wait when you combo these guys oh by the way if you didn't notice there there's like a sprite glitch with them like if you're a new viewer i literally talked about this a few videos ago but if you're like brand brand new to the channel whenever you combo those guys they turn into a recruit from act one i showed it off in the last champion video but there it is again really weird really funny glitch Though it, it should still be fixed. I reported it to the... Oh, God, why? Why? This is going to suck. This is going to be hard. Uh, Flame Dragon's going to do a lot of work for us here, though. Uh, unless she moves. No, she's still in it. She's still in it. But let's combo her. I I do... Uh, this is like the, the champion video... What the last champion video should have been. Uh, like... It's not. We're doing pretty good with it this run, and I, I, I'm glad I, I, I'm at least doing some justice for our, everyone's, uh, or I guess not everyone. I, I, how many people even like Champion out there? I actually don't know. I'm kind of just assuming people are going to be upset that I rank Champion solo, but maybe everyone's just like, yeah, it's true, Champion sucks. But uh, I don't know. I'm sure it has some fans out there. Okay, we're gonna flame dragon her here. Thank God we have it. Uh, Without it, this would have been a lot harder. But I think we're done. Yeah, we're done. Good mage fight. She's really annoying. And thankfully, we're done with her. Holy shit. I can actually get rid of this now, but 
for what exactly? For Hidden Blade? That seems fair. Uh... Actually, it wouldn't give me Hidden Blade, because I would be getting rid of the only Hidden Blade I have. I could get rid of this, but that's raw stats, and I don't want to do that. I could get rid of the Kindo Stick, actually. Oh, yes. Yes, fuck the Kindo Stick. I have Arms 3, right? No, I have Arms 2. Shit! <laughs> Shit! I need the Arms. Okay, well, that sucks. Uh, can't get, can't take it. That's, like, how you have to build in Skull the Hero Slayer now. If you're, uh, if you're struggling with 1.5... You might be making poor decisions where, like, you see a legendary item and you get rid of something like Kendo Stick without realizing how, uh, like, if it's giving you arms too, like this Kendo Stick was for me, and you get rid of it and then you lose and you're like, what happened? Uh, you gotta also keep inscriptions in mind. You can't just take, like, legendary items and be like, oh, it's a legendary item, so I must take it. Sometimes you have to make decisions like this. Uh oh, we made it away from there. Dude, we're actually doing this without the uh, the crowd control. It's kind of shocking. I'm, um, I'm sh I guess uh, Hunter's Boots are doing quite a bit. Like, just dashing a lot and swapping and just, like, not staying as champion all the time is helping a lot with our crowds. But it's not like uh, Ninja is ex exactly great at doing it either. I'm just shocked that this run has been going so well so far. We're pretty much at, we're only 8 HP below the standard amount of HP that you would have at this point. The ring has given us a little more. A little bit extra room to play around with. God, I love Flame Dragon. I love it so much. It did so much there. <laughs> Saved me a lot of uh, possible HP loss. It's just good. I hope maybe I can change some people's opinions out there, especially just on quintessences in general. There's a lot of really weird bad takes about quintessences that I kind of hope to uh, change the record on when it comes to the overall community opinion on them. Ooh. We're not really using our crits that much, though. Okay, now we are. I'll actually take this. I, I You will never see me take this, but I will take it right now. Over... I don't think we're going to Courage Force. Wait, okay. Is there anything better? I could get rid of the Hunter's Boots. Actually, yeah, let's get rid of the Hunter's Boots. Is... Actually, no, 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 no. Wait, that has Courage on it. Okay, well. There you go. That's an, another example of building towards your inscriptions. Look at this fucking Warlock. It's trolling me. It never shows up in time. I'm never going to get to play with a Warlock. I don't know why it's so hard. This has courage on it. That could be good. We could make use of it to get to courage four. I don't think. Is it better than... No, no, no. This has attack speed on it. And we still need attack speed. I think we're fine. We're strong now. Look at this. We're strong. We can absolutely win and do good work with this. So, yeah. This is a rare gunpowder sword run for me. I hope you enjoy it. Uh, just, you know, like, we're doing the Unga Bunga run here. Uh, trying to uh, show that I, I'm i a fair-minded person uh, just because I rated uh, my... In my tier list, I, may, I rated it so lowly. I can still use it. I can still have fun with it. And this has been a very fun run. Uh, I have enjoyed myself. Uh, Champion is not all bad. Same with Yaksha. Like... I, I, Yaksha used to be my favorite skull in the game. I still like Yaksha. I like the direction they took Yaksha. I just don't think it's very good. But as you can see here, uh, we're popping off now. We're, we're pretty much... I would say this is probably the build, but I'll hold off on taking the screenshot until we get to the proper Act 5. Just to make sure there's nothing like a last minute item that we get. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm glad that we did this run. Just kind of unfortunate that we didn't get to Courage 4, but we're making good use of our basic attacks here. All the downtime that we have in between. Uh, actually, let's use one of our skills now. And yes, Gunpowder Sword does work with combo. So, like, uh, we're probably going to destroy Joan. This this could be, like, a similar situation to what we did in the uh, in the mummy fight against the, the mage that I uploaded to my channel as a clip. This could be a very similar situation. We're going to absolutely destroy her. 
I really am missing the Hunter's Boots, though, as you can see. Uh, having a little more trouble dealing with uh, big crowds already. So the Hunter's Boots were definitely doing a lot of carrying in that department. We'll, s we'll just swap more. Kind of hoping I see the... Uh, the halfling girl before we move on or actually the slime is the npc i really want to see but the slime could help me get to courage for excuse me i was taking a sip of tea let's this is the perfect spot to oh also i think i i never knew this and you might not know this either this blew my mind when i realized it those statues uh, are not enemies. They're traps. I did not know this. I don't know if you knew this. I did not know this. But yes. One episode I, I got through this room without killing the statue and the end appeared. And I was so confused. I was like, why? Why is that? Like, what does that mean? And I just realized... Like, I had an epiphany, because, like, you can't status them. They, they're they always unstoppable, and I was wondering why that's also the case. And I thought about it, and I was like, they're, they're like traps. They're this uh, axe traps. And that is fucking nuts to me. Because they certainly don't look like traps, but they are. Uh, just a little fun fact trivia for you. And, yeah, we're going to move on to Joan and see what happens. Oh shit, why wasn't I talking? Uh, I, I kind of zoned out there for a minute and uh, forgot I was doing a recording. But yeah, we're uh, moving on to Joan here. Sorry about that. Um, let's use our combo against this. Ooh. Okay, we gotta be very careful here. Uh, I do not want to lose this run. I don't even, I don't want to lose my life on this run. I want this to be like the full apology to uh, the champion. Well, not apology, but uh, you know, doing right by him a little bit. Uh, you know, I do it. I, I, this is just, um, like, aside from uh, everything I said in yesterday's video, I like every skull in this game on some level. There's no skull I do not like, except, well, kind of living armor. Um, uh, though, I don't know. Uh, I, I, I do have positive opinions about living armor, too. Living armor's not bad. I just don't like uh, Tackle Dasher power skulls. They're, like, on the lower end of my favorite skulls, except for, like, Int. Um... But, uh, oh my god, we're taking so much damage. I gotta be so careful. I do not want to lose this run. Okay, so we have full combo possibility here. Really wish I brought Orc with me so we could truly dominate Joan here, but we're still gonna obliterate her. Especially with uh, this also going on. Yeah, we're doing a lot of damage here. Though it's not quite the blowout I was uh, expecting it to be, but it's still good. Also, that fucking sucks. Okay, let's not... Uh, get stuck in those beams. This is like a fight where um, I mentioned it when I was t uh, raiding the uh, the champion, but this is like a fight where it's parry dash is actually sig like really really bad, and it can get you into some really uh, awkward spots. Because uh, you can um, you can uh, parry dash into one of the beams, and then it sends you flying down into th this mess down here, which is. Uh, not good, obviously. Okay, yeah. I think I'm hopefully proving my point about uh, Flame Dragon here. Uh, I got to use it twice while fighting this Joan. Obviously, if it was Orc, I would have probably just obliterated Joan instantly. I do regret not taking the Orc. But still, Flame Dragon's great. It's just so good. Especially with even, like, Heritage attached to it. You can use it even more. We don't have any uh, Quintessence cooldown here, but we don't need it. We can still make good use of a uh, flame dragon. So we're almost past the point where we even need crowd control. So like the crowd control, la like lacking crowd control wasn't even a big deal on this run. Ended up working out just fine. So I think just the raw damage that we built it was uh, enough to make champion not struggle as much and also accompanied by um, ninja helping. Let's go ahead and heal here. Uh, one refresh. Looking for anything here. Uh, God, do we saw Jenny's chain sickle so many times? But yeah, this is our kit. I'll go ahead and screenshot this. One more time for the road. Okay, there we go. 
it worked. And yeah, this is pretty strong. Uh, this is obviously an odd item out here. But it's fine. I brought Gunpowder Sword, which is something I never do. Uh, I kind of wish I could get rid of the Kendo Stick, but it's not a bad item. It's just like a... it's. I would say it's like... Literally just exclusively for the arms is the reason I have it right now. And I kind of wish that wasn't the case. I would have liked to have taken the... Uh, wait, why am I opening that? I don't need to anymore. I don't know. It's like... Yo, know, monkey brain, I see an item I see an item chest, I see some loot, and I just want it. I want the loot. This is a very uh surprisingly successful run. Though I have this is not even close to like the power that I saw in the uh the Earl video. That's like something Earl is really good at, is like just building broken runs consistently. Uh because like my brain is like I like to challenge myself. I like to like do hard runs and challenge runs. So I also like to be strong sometimes. So like when I saw Orc, my mind didn't even register, like, okay, we can break the game with this. So that's like something that uh you know is bad that I have a bad habit for in this game. Oh boy. So I do need to work on that. Though I, I, I don't know, man. My channel is not a, a break the game kind of channel. We just like to play runs and have fun. That's what we do on this channel. Uh, though I, you know, sometimes it's it's fun, like this run here, like, and this isn't even like at the top tier, like the top echelon of uh, breaking this game. Like this is fairly uh, mild in terms of uh, actually breaking the game. Still good though. We're not going to struggle, I don't think, at all against this first hero. Combo. I'm I, At the very least, they, they made it to where, like, if an enemy jumps out of the range of your combo, you can still hit them, which is uh, very, very useful. How does Parry Dash work against these beams? Really weirdly. Luckily, I didn't get hit two times in a row. That could have actually made me take damage with the... Parry dash. God, why did the? How did they even come up with the concept of parry dash? <laughs> it's so weird. There. Okay, that is like the the true run ending attack. There. Thankfully, he only did it at the end. But he, if he catches you in that, if you're a, a tackle dashing power skull and you can't escape, bro, that just fucks your day. It completely fucks your day. Also, uh, something I'm noticing here. Look at the ninja. The ninja on this run is is uh kind of outshining the uh the the champion because it's able to uh, utilize the gunpowder sword more it's very strange how like my feelings towards um towards champion are very very um just mixed overall but we had fun with it on this run and I hope you uh, had fun watching the champion, the true champion uh, apology tour video. <laughs> uh, I, I, I felt like I owed it. I was going to do it eventually. Thankfully, I saw it immediately after. Okay, let's keep our life here. Uh, we can break, you can break the, uh, the ending screen super easily with, uh, with Ninja here. Thankfully, we got the the wheel so we can very easily teleport out of the uh out of the actually no okay i have a different way i'm gonna break this it's gonna be harder and i could easily miss this it's pretty much you have to get it on the exact frame but i'm gonna try for it we might get a mediocre windscreen because of uh trying to really get break the windscreen in a way i haven't before but it's worth it to me we have to preserve our attack here. Ooh, okay, you're not taking my life, buddy. You're not doing it. Okay, we're good. Uh, I could have played that better, but I was focusing on preserving my skills here. All right, let's do it. Uh, I have to press this on the exact right frame. No, I fucked it up. It's so precise. Ah, what a horrible windscreen. No, but a good run, but God damn it. What are you gonna do? Good run, very fun uh, champion redemption arc. Thankfully, uh, I saw him on this run and I was able to do it. Uh, I missed up the opportunity to bring Orc. Sorry, uh, I'll do better. Uh, we probably would have lost our life if we brought Orc, though. God, Orc is just so scary to use. 
and I'm I'm just so not used to it. But uh, it's fine. I do like having room clearing quintessences though, because uh, Flame Dragon was also doing quite a bit of work saving HP on this run, like dealing with large crowds. We never saw the Thieves' Armor, which was really unfortunate. But we did see Bone of Swiftness, which is an item I wanted. We saw uh, the Ring, which is one of my favorite. If it's one of my favorite, uh, I do like the multi-dimensional prism more, but it's like up there in terms of 1.5 items I love. Golden Sword is great. Uh, we got some courage going here. Things things just worked out very well. Kendo Stick was unfortunate with us the whole time, but we needed the arms. Uh, Champion's Gauntlet had courage on it. I would have gotten rid of this. I much rather would have had the Hunter's Boots, but we I just wanted to leave the door open for uh, Courage 4. And I think that was worth it. Even though we didn't quite get there, it's fine. Overall, very good run. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, thank you. Thank you for watching to the end. Uh, you're the most loyal viewers. I like to say this every time. Uh, I do appreciate it because I know these are long videos and, you know, you're taking up quite a bit of time to support me and that's that's very nice. And I'll see you again in the next one. We'll try and do uh, get, those, get the Warlock and Living Armor runs in. I just, God, dude, they're so elusive for some reason. They're only uniques. It's just when you're looking for a specific unique, it's very difficult to actually uh, get them. Eh, yeah, that's, I need to stop rambling. Well, thank you, and I'll see you again in the next one.